I'm Mando Science here and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a lead follow-up system for your local home service business or your local business. This is going to be for you and it's going to work great whether you've been in business for 10, 15 years or you're just getting started. It's also going to be a great thing to implement if you're running any sort of inbound lead um, acquisition method, right? It doesn't matter if you're doing search engine optimization, SEO. It doesn't matter if you're getting most of your leads from the map pack. It doesn't matter if you're running Google PPC, whether you're running Facebook ads, or whether you're buying leads from Angie's List or Home Advisor. What this is going to allow you to do is literally maximize all the opportunities so that none of them slip through the cracks and you can turn more of those leads into paying customers. We work with hundreds of small businesses across multiple industries in almost every market, and nine out of 10 businesses operate the exact same way. And typically, let's say somebody is searching for your service. In this case, I'm in Houston, and I'm just gonna search for electricians in you know a certain service area. Maybe I need some work done or whatnot. So if I'm looking for this service, I'm gonna be, as a consumer, looking on the internet, looking at Google, looking at all these Google guarantee ads, looking at the PPC ads, and and then here's the map pack, the organic section, and then your website ranks down here somewhere, right? So on any given one of these, I can click and go to a website. Let's say I decide to go to a, a pay-per-click. I decide to click this ad and it's through a Google ad. Well, I'm taking to this company's website and I'm gonna do one or two things here. I'm either going to pick up my, my phone and call this number or I'm going to click on the contact us and request an estimate or fill out a form. Now what's going to end up happening here is that if I fill out this form, it's typically going to go into somebody's inbox. It's going to go to Neverland. I may never get a call back from these folks. I may get a call or maybe even an email two or three days afterwards. Even the best businesses that I've worked with are all lagging in this space. Even when somebody calls your business, a pretty good percent of those phone calls get missed simply because you're either on a job or somebody's on another line, etc. So that's missed opportunities that you've got to be able to close people from leads that you've already probably paid for. Now the same thing happens if I go uh, into any one of these map listings. Um, in some cases, like in the event of this one here, their website's not even working. So anybody who could potentially even make a phone call here is already gone. Now the way we maximize these opportunities is through automation. We have to have a system in place to be able to handle all these different situations. So the tool that we use typically is something called High Level. There's gonna be a link in the description of this video that goes to this tool. And if you are a small business owner, you're not on this tool right now, you wanna give it a shot, there's a 30 day free trial. And you can literally have all these automations that I've gotten here, so you can just plug and play them into your business and go. In this tool, it's like a bridge between sales and marketing and everything in between. It does all the lead handling for you. Through here, we can build forms that go on our website. We can build uh, automations that can handle leads that come in from any different medium, and it does that on the back end. So now let's say that this is my business. Um, I would take this form here, and I would literally replace it with a form that was built inside of this system so that all the automations will come through. And let me show you how this works here on the website. So let's say that I go ahead and replace the form and plug it here into this automated response system here. Now what happens is when somebody fills in this information in here, my system will capture that lead in here, will capture it in here, and it would put it down this path right here. It's gonna basically verify, is this a spam lead or is this a legit lead? If it's a spam lead, it basically tags them at spam and it ends and it gets removed from any further communication. Now if it turns out that it's a real lead, it's going to check whether there's contact already exists in your database or their previous customer. If they're a previous customer, basically a note is gonna be added into the system with the details of that form, their name, their email their address, and any other fields that you have in there. The next thing that's gonna happen is that your team is going to get notifications that an existing customer already filled this form out and is looking to communicate with you. And they're gonna be giving this information as well. Now these alerts can be sent via email to your team, they can be sent via text, or they can be a notification on an app. Now if the lead happens to be brand new, then they get added to a new stage in your sales process so that your entire team and yourself can see 
how many leads are coming in and from what area. So if this lead comes in from Angie's list, it's basically gonna say these are all the Angie's leads, all the Home Advisor leads, all the website leads, all the leads from Google, all the leads from Facebook, and they're all gonna be organized in a dashboard so you can see exactly how many leads you're generating per each medium. Now here's the really important part of all this. As soon as the form gets filled in, the person who filled in the form gets instant follow-up. So an email automatically goes out and it's very custom. It'll say something like, if Mike was filling out this form, it'll say something like, hey, this is, um, hey Mike, this is you know Rob with uh, ABC Junk Company. Thanks for submitting your info about this project. We're gonna need to ask you a few questions in order to give you a proper estimate. Um, we'll go ahead and call you right now. At the same time, the leads that just filled out that form also get a text message with the same information, acknowledging that you received the information, acknowledging that you received the form, and letting them know what the next steps are. I've got a, a few questions about this project and you know, before we can give you a quote. All this is happening while your team simultaneously is getting a notification that there's a new lead that came in and all they have to do is click that button and call the lead at the same time. So 100% of the form submissions that are happening on your website are gonna get addressed and 100% of those leads are gonna get taken care of. Now, what happens in the event that somebody ends up calling this number instead of actually you know, filling out the form. Well, we address that too with automation. We want to make sure that 100% of the opportunities that are coming in are being addressed and handled so that we weed out the bad ones from the good ones and the good ones get taken care of immediately so you can close more of those deals. So what typically happens is somebody will call this number and if you're on a job site or you're busy or somebody's at lunch or whatever, then that number goes unanswered. And if that number goes unanswered, the person who's looking for the service ends up just going down the line and calling the next guy the next guy because as you know from operating a local home service business the person who responds the fastest usually ends up winning the job so how can we set up automation to help us also maximize all the opportunities that are coming in through a phone call in order to do that we set up what's called a missed call uh, text back automation basically when somebody calls in a number that we overlay on your site uh, and they call you and you are either, you know, no answer, it's busy or it goes straight to voicemail, the system kicks in and it tries to identify if this is a first time caller. If this is a first time caller, um, it goes through the process here. Basically, it assigns that number or that lead to anybody on your team and it lets them know instantly that somebody just called and you missed you miss the call and they need to be contacted back immediately. At the same time, an opportunity is created so you can actually see and visualize how many missed phone calls you're, you're, you're having on any week or uh, given day. That way you know exactly where the breakdown is on your, on your back end. But what's most important here is that as soon as that number hangs up from a missed call, we instantly send a text message to them. And it could be something as simple as, hey, sorry, I missed your call. Were you looking to schedule an estimate? Did you need somebody to help you with your electrical services? Were you looking to hire an electrician to speak to somebody, right? This is the first filtering mechanism because if you're anything like most business owners, you're probably getting a ton of spam calls every single week. And that could be a reason why you're not answering most calls because the number looks funny, right? And so this is the first layer of defense. Basically, if it's a spam number, the text message is gonna fail and there's nothing else that you need to do here. Basically, the system will filter out through those bad numbers so that you don't have to deal with it. If it turns out that it's a good number, or if it turns out that uh, you did miss a real you know, lead there, the system will ask this question, hey, do you need to speak to somebody? Sorry, we missed you. And what we've seen is in, in eight out of the 10 cases of a number that's being missed, somebody will respond and say, yes, I just called you. I'm looking to get A, B, C, and D done. So what happens then is our system responds. As soon as the system recognizes that there's a response from a customer and it's a positive response, it's going to reply back with whatever your next steps are. So if your next steps is, hey, I'm going to have Susie from the office call you to get more details and you know give you a proper estimate, then that's what we'll say here. In some cases, our clients are just happy saying, hey, you know, thanks, um, you know, sorry I was busy, but if you want to schedule, you know, an estimate for us, just kind of go ahead and fill this form out or, you know, here's our calendar link, pick a time that works for you and we'll go from there. 
Okay. At the same time, if it detects that there's no response from somebody and the text does go through, it's set to follow up with these people like two or three times within the next 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure that you're not missing any of these opportunities. So by implementing this portion of it, you're guaranteeing that every single time that phone gets dialed, it's going to be it. The, the lead is going to get a response and it's going to get addressed, maximizing the opportunities from phone calls. Now I'm gonna show you what we do for the inbound traffic that we're paying for. In other words, Facebook ads, Google ads, etc. This process is gonna remain fairly the same for each one of those entry points, so it doesn't really matter if it's Facebook or Google or whatnot. So let's say that a lead comes in through Facebook, and the biggest gripe that I hear from local business owners when it comes to Facebook ads is that the leads are not any good. It takes forever to reach these people. The reason some people feel that way is because their follow-up system sucks or they have very little follow-up system. They think that they're gonna get back to these people whenever they feel like it, an hour, two hours, three hours later, and that's just simply not gonna work. The fastest response is gonna give you the best results for these leads. So when a lead comes in through Facebook, and it doesn't matter if it's a website lead, and it doesn't matter if it's a lead ad or a Facebook message or any, way you're running Facebook ads. The system here is gonna handle that lead and reply to them instantly. Now let me show you what happens here. A lead comes in through Facebook, an opportunity is created with that lead to let you know exactly how many leads you're, you're, you're running, right? Um, a first text message is gonna go out to that lead verifying that information, basically. It's gonna say, hey, you know, Mike, this is John with ABC Concrete Company. Thanks for messaging us on Facebook or thanks for requesting info on Facebook. Or reply yes if you know we've got the right number. When that person replies yes, okay? When that person replies yes, either replies yes or yeah or sure or yeah, it's me or whatever, whatever the intent is, your team will instantly get notification. And again, this could be a notification through text message, notification through email, or notification through an app you know, bubble here, letting you know, hey, we've got a hot lead right now. They came from Facebook. Here's all their contact details, all the information they, they, they gave us. Um, go ahead and call us right now. At this point, it can branch out and it varies depending on what your sales process. We have some clients that say, hey, if a lead comes in, my sales guy is going to dial that number right away. And within a couple seconds, they're going to be connected to that. For some people, they're gonna send a link saying, hey, sorry, you know, we missed you. You know, what can I help you with? I need a little bit more information. In either case, you are now entering into a text conversation with these leads or your sales team is in order to book them on your calendar. So every single lead that comes through it is going to literally get addressed and taken care of within 0 0.03 seconds of coming in to your system. And the same thing's gonna happen with Google Ads. If somebody requests information through a landing page, this will fire and all those leads will get addressed. And the same thing's gonna happen with any lead that you feed into the system from Angie's List or Home Advisor. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna show you is a super neat little tool that you can add to your website that literally will increase conversions of people coming in. As you know, it's 2023, 2024 and beyond. People want to text. Text is like 80% of the conversations nowadays, maybe even more. So people are more comfortable texting, requesting that kind of information than they are picking up the phone in a lot of cases. What this does is allows for those opportunity, allows for those people that come to your website, come to your properties, to send you a text and enter your sales process. Now, let me show you what this looks like. This little bubble right here on the far right-hand side is a little bubble widget that's included with the system setup that I just showed you. This is not a website text widget. Basically on the website text widget, somebody's there and they have to stay on the website in order for them to continue the conversation with you. And there's gotta be a live agent there present or you'll lose the lead. This is a way for them to text you through your website. Basically when they come here and they enter their information in here and they send you a message, our automated system will then follow up with these people instantly for you so that you don't have to do it uh, manually. Let me show you how this works. So let's say that somebody goes to your website and they click on this little widget here and they send you a message. 
the system basically it's going to recognize that it's coming from this widget it's going to add their response to the notes so you have it there and it's basically going to um, ask a question here right it's going to take that person's information is going to create a contact record it's going to add it to your pipeline so you know exactly how many people are actually texting you per week and how many of those are turning into customers right it's going to notify your internal team hey somebody literally just text us and they said this that and this here's their name here's their phone number here's their email uh, please reach out to them right away but here's what's cool about this the system will then check because we know that we have business hours, system will then check if they texted you or reached out to you within business hours. If they texted you through the website and reached out within business hours, the response is different than when they text you after business hours because there's literally nobody there to handle that in your office. So if they texted you within business hours, your team gets notification instantly that they texted you during business hours. They get all the lead details so they can call them right away, but the system actually responds on your behalf. Hey Mike, this is John with ABC Concrete Company. Thanks for reaching out to us on our website. You said you needed A, B, C, and D, all right? We'll need to ask a few more questions um, and one of our team members will call you in the next couple minutes, right? So you can literally have a text conversation with these people because they might say, no, you know, I'm actually at work. I can't really talk right now. Um, then you can say, yeah, no, no problem. You know, can you text? Tell me, you know, tell me, you know, what you need. Item one, two, three, and four. And you can literally close the deal via text message right there. Okay. If it's after business hours, the system will recognize that and it'll literally say, hey, Mike, you know, thanks for reaching out through a website. You reached us after business hours. You said you needed A, B, C, D. Okay. Um, we can give you a call tomorrow morning, or you can request a callback or schedule a quote online right here through our automated system. So every single inbound lead method is literally getting handled. Somebody messages you on your website, it doesn't matter if you're if the person got there through the Google Map Pack, through SEO, or through Google PPC, they message you on your website, it's gonna get handled. They call you, it's gonna get handled. They go through a Facebook ad, it's gonna get handled. You get an Angie's lead, it instantly responds to those leads so that you're not the fourth or fifth company responding to the, to the lead because as you know, that's how these big companies like Angie's and Home Advisors work. They sell the same lead to five or six different contractors, and basically you're fighting for scraps. So if you're the first person to reach out to that customer, there's a pretty good chance of you closing that deal. So hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, again, I've got a bunch of resources linked in the description of this video. Leave me some questions if you've got any questions about this method.